Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim, I am a plant mom and today we are doing a houseplant tour in my small apartment. Let's go. So since you have like no background on <laughs> my plant experiences, um, I figured that we could like do the houseplant tour and while I'm talking about plants, I'm giving you context. I guess and um, how I ended up doing this because this has been like a journey for me and I can now pretend to give you my advices or at least share with you my experiences and how I do it basically because sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go. If you are hearing any noise in the background this is because of him he is my son i gave birth to him and yes he's <laughs> he's 16 years old and he's living the life of a spoiled child so i guess we can start with the kitchen um and i only have one plant here which is my pothos I am gonna put in the corner of the video uh, the names, the full names of the plants because sometimes I can forget and <laughs> I never check back. Um, yeah, because this is my pothos. I don't know what happened, but she's thriving. Uh, she gets the smallest amount of light and I don't know how she's doing it, but she's thriving. Like, I had her like in a small pot um, as a trade one time and since she just developed this <laughs> this thing and you know she's greasy because she's in the kitchen she has uh, grease everywhere I don't water her so often so I don't know how she's doing it but yeah she has something she definitely has something but I guess Photos just thrive uh, in anything. Next, we are doing um, this poem. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the name of it. I basically um, got her from my parents' house because I I just had this apartment not so long ago. I started uh, renting it maybe like six months ago so yeah I was in my parents house before and I had a lot more space that's why I downsized my collection I'm gonna talk to you about that a little bit later but uh, basically this is from my parents house they have a huge plant but it also has uh, mini bugs and I really took care of it um, I, you know, I was careful with it. It doesn't have mini bugs anymore. It had trips. <laughs> it had trips though, so yeah, she's doing fine. She's good. You can see here that's trips uh, damages. Here, also here, but yeah, she's doing fine and um, she's uh, right into the light. I mostly have sunlight during the afternoon, so uh, a lot of my plants don't get the amount of light they should get. <laughs> That's why they grow slowly uh, since I got here. Uh, also, I'm, I'm still adjusting uh, with the humidity because I also had a lot more humidity in my parents' house and here it's quite dry sometimes but I'm I'm trying I'm trying my best <laughs> mostly for my you know my most uh, humidity lovers so next we have these two babies these hangers uh, first we have a type of fern I forgot the name again uh, he's losing yes he's <laughs> He's losing leaves uh, right in front of us because I think it's a, it's a humidity. Like he he loves water. I water it uh, quite often, but I don't know. 
he's losing leaves and also he's you know he's just a crybaby because right now he's losing leaves but look at this this is new this is a new branch so I don't know what's going on this is just uh, this is just a drama queen I'm not gonna f I'm not gonna be fooled by you anyways so next we have this baby um, this is one of the plants I'm the most concerned about even if she's she looks like she's thriving she used to be bigger than that because uh, this is by the way this is a, a silver type of string of hearts she used to be bigger than that uh, and she also that's what I'm more concerned about she also used to have bigger leaves right now she only has really small leaves I don't know if you can see it but yeah I think the soil is not the best for her uh, but I just reported her right before I moved in this new apartment and she started declining so I think it's because of the soil so I might report her uh, quite soon next we have these babies on the tables these are my most uh, beloved <laughs> plants one of my most beloved plants because I had I have more but uh, yeah first uh, as you can see the queen of the show let me just yeah yes we are gonna show her fully 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 she is beauty she is absolute beauty this is my luxuriance and I just got her like maybe two months ago she got a little bit of damaging uh, in the mail she also yeah <laughs> She's not doing so good, I think, because she's uh, not far from the window and it got pretty cold here, uh, I think she doesn't like the cold and right now I don't have a, um, you know, a terrarium where I can have uh, a more warm and humid environment for them, so I think that's because, I think because of it, and because of the cold and the dryness she's a little bit suffering but she's doing okay next is my philodendron biliatie uh, she's doing very good she's thriving uh, but the leaves I guess the leaves could be better could be bigger also uh, and you can see <laughs> from the size <laughs> of the petiole I don't know if uh, in English if that's the name of it but from the size of from the size of this part you can see that she she needs more light she's reaching from for the light I guess she needs more lights to to push out bigger leaves but she's doing very good and also her roots are doing fine next is one of my <laughs> Um, one of my soldiers, I'm gonna say it like this, one of my soldiers, um, she, she had a hard time, let me tell you, <laughs> she got trips, she had uh, root rot, she had everything you can think of and she's now doing fine. Her two newest leaves are healthy though. That's why I'm not so concerned about her health anymore. Um, as you can see, well, they doesn't have uh, any holes in it like that. But it's good. We are fine. At least she's uh, in a good health right now. She doesn't have trips anymore because it, it was really, really bad. And I think she's going to put out a new leaf because this stem right here, it's bumpy which means it's gonna get uh, a new baby leaf so I'm happy about it also since she always like had something <laughs> since she always had uh, a disease of some sort 
um, I rarely had the chance to repot it and with only four leaves I think this size of pot is still um, is still good for her but I'm wondering like maybe if I upsize her um, she will be doing more uh, more leaves and also bigger leaves because this size this size is good, but she she could definitely do better. Like I had her, I had I had her at least three years ago, maybe four years ago. Can you imagine only four <laughs> four leaves for four years? <laughs> maybe three years, but that's insane. She's she's yeah, she's a survivor. We're gonna say it like this. She's a survivor. Next we have this begonia. This is a propagation. Wait, let me let me show you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I just lost the leaf. But as you can see there's a lot of roots. It's ready to be potted. I had a lot of plants from this begonia and every time it had something. Like it 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 always had trips or I don't know root rot because I tend to overwater my plants um, but yeah it always had something and I started over because the mother plants it's uh, at my parents house and I'm trying again I think I had like four of these and they all died <laughs> next we have this capria um Ucapria, I don't know how to pronounce it. This is uh Alocasia Red Secret, I think. Yeah. Uh I'm gonna put the full name of it because I'm not sure right now. But yeah, this is um also a propagation as you can see uh in Leka. It has a lot of roots as you can see right now, yeah. It's doing good and also I'm gonna have a new leaf. So I'm really happy about her. The mother plants is uh, in my parents' house again. My parents' house is literally the, the center of the world for these plants because all the mother plants <laughs> are still there. But uh, I had to downsize because since my apartment is small and I don't have a lot of space with good lights, for plants, uh, I can't have really big plants and I'm trying to have more uh, little bits of species, of different species than to have big, big plants. So yeah, uh, I had to propagate this plant because I really love it. I love, she, she gave, the mother plant was giving me big leaves really really big leaves but she never um, kept a lot of leaves together always like maybe three or four and once she put out a new leaf uh, one of the old leaves just dies so I never knew uh, why I was doing this but I guess that's a process maybe I don't know maybe the soil I don't know how and why but yeah so next we are getting into the biggest part of my houseplants collection. As you can see there is a lot of uh, life here. Um, plants as well as uh, animals because I have a tortoise here and my turtle is here as well. So yeah, let's go. Alright, so for this part of the video I guess it was just easier for me to show you the plants on a video like that. Uh, in front of the camera because with the boxes and everything with the blue lights and the pink lights it was getting a little bit difficult to see the leaves so yeah the next plant is actually one of my favorites this is a platyforum platyforum bifurcatum anyway you're gonna see the full name on the corner of the video but this is one of my favorite plants you know this is the kind of plant 
that you put in a piece of wood and you put it on the wall and it looks majestic and you feel like you're in a, a I don't know a kind of forest I just like it uh, she's doing very good I have it in a pot right now because I'm not I think I'm not comfortable enough to you know put it on a piece of wood and um, put the the roots in sphagnum moss because they are really fragile and I'm not comfortable enough. I think I'm not well experienced enough with these plants. So right now it's in a pot and it's doing well. So yeah. I just hope that this summer she's gonna put out more leaves like that with the fork shape. Um, because this this is just beautiful and even if the round leaves, uh, juvenile leaves are pretty, I think I'm more impatient with this kind of leaves. It's gonna be it's gonna be something so yeah next one is one of my true shame actually uh, I hate this plant I'm gonna say it right now I hate this plant I don't know if you're gonna recognize what it is but this is a um, pink princess actually that's that's horrible she looks bad <laughs> I don't know where to start um, the pot is too big for her she used to be bigger though she used to be way bigger the pot is now too big for her i don't know how how the roots are um it had trips and now we are living with this it doesn't have any pink anymore it's just this is just a mess this is just a mess i don't like it it doesn't give me nothing like I have nothing for her and I think because the pot is too big she's getting like what what I hate this plant it's not pretty honestly I'm not I don't even think that I'm gonna buy a new one a new pink princess because I was not a big fan first of all I just had it you know in a big store and I, I felt like oh yeah maybe Maybe I can have like a little, a little bit of pink in my house, <laughs> but I'm not. I, I don't mind it, and I don't like it, and I hate this plant. So yeah. Next is a pink plant, actually. <laughs> the irony of this. Uh, this is my Syngonium um, pink neon. She's really healthy. I think she needs to be repotted because this pot is way too small for this uh, she also need a trail because as you can see she leans on the side it's getting to be a little bit uh, you know th there is too much going on <laughs> but yeah yeah she she leans she leans she likes to lean so she needs a trail uh, but she's really healthy she's giving me big great leaves healthy leaves she also have like this green spot which is kind of cool but yeah i like it and she's really thirsty also while i'm saying this uh, i think she's really thirsty because the the pot is too small so yeah next plant is one of my babies <laughs> um yeah this is a carnivorous plant. I don't know if, you, if it's a word in English. Carnivore, carnivore, yeah, carnivorous plant, yes. This is a carnivorous plant and she is really pretty. She has uh, put up some new babies on the side because I put her in a different spot in the summer and she was growing more here and now she's under the grow lights and she's giving me babies also these are dry the pictures they all dried up when i moved in here because she likes uh, high humidity and i don't have that uh, in here so yeah the pictures are getting dry but she's still pretty and the new pictures around here are uh, a little bit healthier because they are you know they are um, on the soil directly on the soil and the soil is always uh, moist so maybe that's why they are healthier 
Next is one of my pride and joy and one of my survivors actually. Uh, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> like, why do I keep this in, a, in this tower, in this glass tower? Uh, this is my variegated string of pearls. I have a um, normal string of pearl in my parents' house, but I don't find it really interesting. The variegated ones um, are more pretty to me, and um, when you have like full white pearls, this is getting really pretty. Like, yeah, it's it survived a lot, actually. It was way bigger. I'm going to try to put you uh, in some corner of the video some pictures of the plants before before right now. Uh, maybe a few months ago, or at least one year ago. Uh, so you can see the, the update is not that good actually. Because <laughs> right now it's, it looks really small. It looks like I just bought it. She's doing good now. She doesn't have root rot anymore. And she is giving me little by little new pearls and you know she is getting back on there so I hope that this summer is gonna be good for her and that she's gonna have the opportunity to give me a good new uh, big plant. Next is my Mykens. Um, it looks really bad. <laughs> it does look really bad. Um, Actually, on the video, not that bad. Yeah, it does look bad. Like, what is this? What is this thing? What is the soil? The... Okay, anyways. Um, this is my Mykens. It I got her in a trade. I was trading it with uh, one of my Begonia Beef Hearts. Like, Beef Hearts? I don't know. I'm not sure of the name. The one I, sh I just showed you earlier. Uh, yeah, it was a trade and it just had, it was just a, a stick with two leaves and I just had to propagate it and I don't know how I got here, I just experiment with sphagnum moss and no drainage oil. Also, I'm, I don't think I talked about that but some of my plants are in no drainage holes because I saw some YouTubers um, having this technique of, you know, um, putting plants on no drainage holes uh, pots. And I saw uh, good results and I just wanted to try, you know, to experience with it. And with some plants it works out, but with some plants it's a mess. I don't know what's happening. I don't want to deal with it. I love my plants, by the way. I love them, but only in other people's houses and other people's uh, care because my care is not good for my kids obviously uh, I don't know maybe in the spring I will just shop it, shop it off and you know propagate it properly and having like a good uh, fresh start with it because right now it's ridiculous next is one of my favorite plants and one of my pride and joy uh, my Hoya Compacta Variegata this plant uh, I had her for quite a time now and she hasn't grown a lot she put out new leaves here and there um, I don't know, maybe in the summer, this, last summer she put out new leaves here, as you can see it's a little bit pink uh, and also full white leaves on this uh, stem but it doesn't, you know, grow in length just some new leaves here and there and I'm not mad about it because uh, I, don't, I don't know if I want a big, big uh, Hoya Compacta this size is really cute and I like it like this. She is also kind of thirsty. I don't know if it's because you know there is no there is no new root uh, coming out of there. So I don't know if it's root bound. I have to see the roots though because it's been a long time. 
but yeah she's really pretty she put out new leaves here and there she's healthy sorry for the noise because some someone is going ham somebody is going ham right now yeah so yeah um she's doing good she's doing fine and that's uh, that's the most important next is my second um, pride and joy this is my Hoya Matilda Splash um, these are the two only Hoyas that, that I own and I don't know why I don't have more because I love Hoyas <laughs> but I never you know I love Hoyas but I'm really uh, difficult with which one I like, like I like small Hoyas, but only like ones with you know splashes and stuff. I like um, silver, silvery Hoyas, but you know the leaf shapes I do not like. So I'm quite difficult with it. I don't know why, but I love the you know the thick, the thickness of the leaves. I like that. So yeah, this is my uh, Matilda splash. Doesn't have a lot of splash actually. <laughs> It was kind of a scam. I don't know if I could consider that as a good splash, you know. These, yeah, I could consider it like a good splash, but you know, some of the older leaves, not so much. Um, I heard that the amount of splash you have is also related to the light you have. And I noticed that whenever I put her in the um, in the sunlight inside, of course, but in, into the sunlight, she doesn't put uh, she doesn't grow out leaves with a lot of splash. And I get better splash uh, under a glow light, actually. But since she's getting quite long and big, this is getting harder and harder to to have her under the glow lights. Uh, as you saw, my grow light <laughs> uh, area is quite small, so yeah. I'm trying to get more of these uh, splash leaves, but yeah, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting that. Also, this leaf, I, as you can see, it's damaged uh, because the plants had uh, trips last summer, as everyone in this house. <laughs> Me, <laughs> I also had trips. Yeah, it was a mess. Next is one of my favorite plants and also one of the most ridiculous <laughs> ones. Uh, yeah, this is my Ripsalis. It's <laughs> I wish it was bigger with more <laughs> branches, but it's not. Uh, it looks like that. It's, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, also, it's in a small glass pot. Uh, I have a mixture of soil and sand in it, and it's doing great. But you know, it's not getting any big. And honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna, you know, make it bigger, because I would like to propagate it. But if I just have like this one piece to propagate, what I'm what I'm doing with the, you know, with the rest. Uh, so yeah. I'm just hoping that this summer is gonna grow out a little bit more and I'm gonna be able to propagate it and you know make a, a fuller plant. It doesn't look good but it's kinda healthy so I'm not I'm not mad about it. Next I'm gonna present you two of my boys uh, at the same time because I don't know the names of it and I just <laughs> this one is like what are we doing here? It just lean on the side and when it's in the, you know, the box with the grow lights, I just, you know, put it on the corner so it doesn't fall off. But yeah, I just don't know the, the name of it and it's doing great. It has, uh, I don't know if you can see it, yeah, it has great roots. This one, uh, I don't know the name of it either, but it's always growing like right now as you can see it's really green on the top it's growing and it's winter so i guess because of my grow lights uh everyone is you know doing their own thing 
some went dormant and some just grow in the winter I don't get it um, I don't want to put it uh, outside because it's really too cold in here and uh, I'm scared of it you know freezing and I don't know there are sometimes cats in the neighborhood uh, and I don't want it to you know um, encounter a cat in the wild and get smashed or for it to hurt the cat uh, so yeah it's doing great the it has been in this spot forever <laughs> and I don't know how it's growing as I said earlier I'm a low maintenance girl and this is an example of it like it has been in this spot for like five years honestly next is this succulent uh, this fuzzy succulent is really cute and I don't take a really good care of it as you can see it's becoming more and more uh, unserious here it was supposed to be like straight and I don't know what happened sometimes in the summer I put it uh, outside and you know it's windy and stuff and you know sometimes it's, it just fall off and so that's why she looks like that but she's doing great I think this is a tragedy <laughs> this was supposed to be a monkey tail cactus and it I'm just put a, a picture in the corner of the video because it this is a tragedy one of my well not one of my my tortoise one time uh, he just went ham and destroyed a lot of my plants and my monkey tail cacti was one of the victims and it just never recovered it just looked like I don't know what it looks like uh, that's not pretty anyway but he's alive though he's alive and that's the more important this is um, the reason I started uh, house planting this is my orchid. This, that's not a, a, an expensive orchid, that's actually a really common orchid that you can find at any store, I think. Uh, but it's my grandma's, uh, actually, so I have an emotional like link to it. And it's not doing that good because all of the roots just rotted and it just, you know, leaned on the front of the pot. But it has, like healthier roots on the sides so I guess it's doing fine and the leaves are not yellowing and you know it has like a new stem for flower so it's doing great it's doing great I started with orchids I started all with orchids and um, that's how I got into houseplants I was really into orchids I was really into you know see the roots how to take care of it it just started like that and um that's where am i now <laughs> and she's still here she's still here it's not the biggest orchid you would ever find but she's healthy and i have like this emotional link to it so yeah i really like it so with this orchid i'm gonna end the house tour video I hope you liked it, I hope you liked the journey of it because it was <laughs> a real journey of its own. Don't be shy, if you appreciated the video, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot. And also, if you are interested, I have an Instagram account where I post about more personal stuff and a little bit about plants, but also about interior design and home design. Um, so yeah, if you are interested enough, uh, you can check out my Instagram also. With that, I hope you liked the video and I will catch you on my next one. Bye!